and I'm an astronaut aboard the International Space Station. Welcome on board. You know I'll be there when you need me. Watch out. You might get kissed during this episode. I'm going to be talking about stars and asteroids. They're everywhere. Asteroids are everywhere. If you could have sex with Taylor Swift or the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, which would you choose? Yeah, smoke them if you got them. Panic, cuddle, and all that shit, baby. What is happening? Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... What's going on? Nobody knows. Welcome to Asteroid Fight Club. I'm your host, Thor. Today we have... Ladies and gentlemen, I don't say this very often, but... We've done a really great job. What is an asteroid for kids? It's a big dumb rock in outer space. What is outer space? It's a place... We don't let humans go. Sure, you got the International Space Station, but it's really still on the beach of outer space, you know? If outer space goes on for almost forever, then the International Space Station is still on the sand of outer space. Hi, I'm Star-Lord Thor 7 the T, your planetary defense commander. A long, long, a long time ago, in a world far, far away, I created Asteroid Pie Club, a randy bunch of internet and real life adventurers, analog and digital, who would do what they could to keep civilization standing. Metaphorically, realistically, and super califragilisticallyaldociousness, right? All encompassingly. Well, that was ages ago. And we're still here. So I'm proud of you. But I'm going to give you information only you can handle. Asteroids are everywhere. And what is an asteroid? For adults, it is anything that could kill you, your family. Or bring civilization to its knees and then collapse it. Because while the social media magnates are busy dissecting the present and the past and all of its sinners, we're all sinners. We've been having a lot of real problems, man. Like the hyperinflation asteroid. Sure, cryptocurrencies are helping soak up excess liquidity that might lead to a 500 rivers flooding of hyperinflation. Not just Venezuela and Zimbabwe, to use two examples in the last 20 years of hyperinflation. And now they literally wreaked havoc amongst the people who lived under the umbrella of that currency and its connection to the petrodollar. So that asteroid's still floating around. How long are we safe? I don't know. And Ben Bernanke nor Lloyd Blankenfein will go to lunch with me yet. We can go to dinner, have beers, whatever. Hell, I heard bankers like strip clubs. If you guys need to force me to go to a strip club to talk about the future, infrastructure, and the possible and probable things that can be done. I'd be more than happy to go. What are they talking about? Oh yeah, asteroids. Climate change. Well, that'll destroy your mind even talking about it because they've got us programmed to argue. As soon as anyone even says anything about climate change, it's like a trigger word where we've all been hypnotized to just begin arguing instantly about anything involved with the weather when someone says climate change. And so we got no infrastructure solutions there. We got no finding the lands and areas that will be very farmable in the near future in medium term future. So that's another problem that's gotta be solved because cities are gonna be underwater soon. I mean, soon, sooner than 12 years, bro. Hell, a city just got knocked out in Africa, Mozambique. 95% of the homes destroyed in one storm. If that shit happens in Miami this year, people are gonna be like, if only we had warning signs. Or they're gonna be like, climate change. And then everyone's just gonna argue while a bunch of people died. Did you know two big asteroids hit China, metaphorically, and killed a million people a long time ago? True story, in a flood, that was it. Flood asteroid. Killed a million people. And here on my watch is your planetary defense commander and your King Chupacabra of Asteroid Fight Club. I know the word king even triggers people. We're all kings and queens, people. It was like in the mid-90s, the guitar tones were the best. We were all kings and queens. And then they assassinated Kurt Cobain, and we all went downhill from there. Well, we're going to pick ourselves back up and get back on top to where we're all kings and queens. So you guys don't got to be triggered by words no more. Because they're just words, man. Sticks and stones may break my bones. And girls may suck my dick, but words will never hurt me. Asterisk, they can definitely hurt our feelings. But that's not the same as physical pain, or is it? I just used the D word in there. How does Monica Lewinsky feel about hurricane season? CNN, Fox News, why aren't you talking about that shit? Oh yeah, this is going to be off the rails. Hurricane asteroids, they're real. I've been even crazy enough to say I think we got one definitely near to definitely landfall in the middle of September. Middle of volcano, there's always the volcano asteroids. They're growing daily, man. And the more asteroid eruptions you get, even near the United States with Mexico and Guatemala, 
and the less you, you or the never you hear people in the news talk about volcanoes when they're talking about all this heat it's like hey what about the volcanoes they're like no volcanoes don't affect anything shut up and um humor the death of humor that's my least favorite asteroid that's floating around us it's like man we all need our sense of humor back imagination asteroid man knocked our mind off it's like now almost any subject any conversation can be diverted to politics and arguing within two sentences but the best way you know, like if you're sitting at a big dinner with a bunch of people, it's real fancy. All you gotta do is jump up on the table and start screaming, Al Gore, Al Gore, Al Gore. And um, you will have altered the night. But that, that table invented the internets. It's cool. It's true. It's a graph. Look it up. I like Amber Khan. I like a lot of women. Women can be likable. I don't know if you knew that. It's true. And some women can be likable for long periods of time. Me, on the other hand, I smell bad. That's a true story. That's a true fact. Fake news. All you got to do is burn all my shit. All you got to do is burn, my, burn all my clothes. Scrub me down. Soap me up. And I'll be smelling like brand new used car. Airplane F-35. Rainbow Tic Tac in your mouth. Fuck. I'm not going to be able to put all this in here. I am just going crazy Buddha. I'm in a Buddha phase. I don't move much. I think a whole lot. Buddha phase. I'm, I'm trying to get out of it, though. I want to have a fun summer. Come on. Let's have a fun summer. This is going to be an Astro Fight Club summer. We need to start making plans now to have a good time and celebrate and enjoy life this summer. I want to have a great 4th of July. I want rock and roll to return. I want good things for all people. And we got to pay attention to these asteroids. Disasteroids. New breakfast cereal with way too much sugar. You want diabetes? Come and get it. All right. I'm editing the fuck out of this thing. I love women, and but I'm not going to talk about boobs. And there's no way I'm going to show nipples. I don't want the death penalty. What do you get the death penalty for? Showing nipples? Oh, that demon. There's always the abortion asteroid. How's Monica Lewinsky feel about that? Is the red spot unraveling? That's what she said. Now we got the Jupiter red spot unraveling asteroid. Asteroids are... Ooh! Girl, you got me like this. It's like this and like that and like this in a... Jupiter's freaking out, asteroids. Now is a great time to monitor the action, baby. Come watch Jupiter with me, babes. Muffin cakes, pumpkin pie pants with whipped cream. Cool whip, of course. Stay cool whip. There you go. I just sold that. Well, yeah, if I ever sell out to frosting or beer, that means I like that frosting or beer, really. And I like frosting and beer. Not at the same time. Okay. Yeah, so like on the 16th, boom, little one almost hit us. 20th, little one almost hit us. Eh, anything under Thor News rule is you ain't really got to worry about it. If it, unless it's point one lunar distance or under, you might not even have to worry about it at all. Worry don't help nothing. Yeah, so we got no major Earth hitting asteroids on the chart, although they are worried about one that's like 13 years away. What is that one called? Sexy names. I'm talking about sexy names. This is good to be continued. I don't even know. I'm talking about asteroids. They're everywhere. Asteroids are everywhere. Just like red dwarf stars. I'm going to be talking about stars and asteroids. If you could have sex with Taylor Swift or the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, which would you choose? <laughs> you laugh. It made me laugh. Okay. Shit. Fuck. Dang. All right. I just, um, okay. It's like every time I mention her name, I, uh, the amount of time. Gemini season. Let's have fun. Both sides of her personality can kiss somebody. Kiss somebody. Watch out. You might get kissed during this episode. Asterisks. Asterisk. Asterisk. Aster. Asterisk. Take a shower. Yep. Play guitar. Sit by a fire. Sing songs. Let's go grilling. Let's go grill. Then go to the ocean. I want to wake up with you next to the ocean. I want to fall asleep with you by the sea. Look up, you never know what you'll see.